Hi, I'm Mike with Utastic. I'm here again at SCNA. Um, I'm sitting down with the inimitable uh, Uncle Bob Martin. Uh, as you might know, that he's written these books uh, or created the Solid Principles and uh, written the Clean Coder, uh, which was a, a very uh, well-received book on, on understanding how to write and, and design software well. Um, and now you're doing a series of videos uh, called the Clean Coder. Um, Clean Coders. Clean Coders. Excuse mm -hmm. me. And um, and you, and you have your bracelet. You 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 reach out to and try to teach in a variety of ways. You speak, you write, you you blog. Yes. And uh, yeah. you even tweet once or twice. Uh, but, sometimes. <laughs> but so you're 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 trying to teach in these concepts in a broad spectrum. And and I know you've gone and spoken in user groups as well. So you 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 hit a lot of media. I try to cover it. Yeah. Yeah. So what is that like? And what is drove you to create the Clean Coders? Oh, well, what is it like? It keeps me busy. <laughs> I, mean, I fly all over the doggone place and, and give talks and yell at people and, and encourage them to be professional and talk about solid principles and techniques <laughs> and so on. Um, I love to be creative. It's you know, something that thrills me when I can make something from nothing. <laughs> and so I make articles and I make books and I make software and I make uh, videos now. Right. Um, I got into the videos because um, there was obviously this new way to communicate with people. Right. Right? The web, it gives us this way of, of doing, doing videos and the tools for creating videos have gotten so incredibly powerful um, that I thought one day, you know, I should just make a, a different kind of video, not, not the typical kind of screencast. But instead, a scripted, produced, edited video. And I taught myself all the tools, and I got, bought some cameras, and I actually put... first two I did, I threw away. And then finally got into the zone and, and produced a video that I thought was really good. And uh, encouraged my son to work with me to put together a website, cleancoders.com. And we put the videos up on that website, and, and we've been selling like hotcakes, frankly. They, yeah. They're, they're doing very well. Uh, it's just another creative outlet, just mm -hmm. another way for me to um, spread my message around the world. <laughs> so, so it's not just uh, about um, wanting to – it's not just the message. I mean, a lot of it is creative. Mm -hmm. you're saying mm -hmm. that you can, you can have fun with it. You can do – because you do some campy things, you do little campy things. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. So, but it, but it's it's one of the things though that I think is interesting about it, and it's what kind of drove me to create this fantastic as well, is that it takes what uh, a lot of uh, people only deliver through Twitter or, or written word, which can be dry, and it, it really depends on the interpretation mm -hmm. of of the reader. Whereas when you do a video. And that's one of the, the drivers for this whole series is being able to see and hear and watch the the, the, the uh, body emotions, language, the body language, the emotion, face language, the, the sound of the yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So it's a very wide bandwidth communications mm -hmm. medium. That you, there's a, a whole bunch of different ways to communicate ideas, and the more different ways you use to communicate ideas, the more the ideas get across. Yeah. Right. So a uh, screencast is fairly one-dimensional, um, a blog is pretty one-dimensional, but a video has just got you know, millions of different ways that right. you can present cool ideas. Yeah, so you can, but you also get a better idea of, of, that, of that person. Right, well there's definitely personality yeah. involved. Of course, that's been my intent all along, is to produce these videos that are dripping with personality. Yeah. Well, and that, that, you, you are well known for your speaking being very effervescent. Uh, is, is, is a nice way of yeah, or animated or something. <laughs> animated. Yeah. I, I, I have pitied uh, camera operators uh, <laughs> um, that, that had to try to track you on stage as I tried to take pictures of you during one, one of my the sports code camps. to drive yeah. them completely yeah. insane. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a, a series of pictures that were just blurs. That's, that's all they were. Um, uh, <laughs> but, you know, another goal of this uh, uh, video series is to help people that are learning how to speak as well. Um, so we talked about that we're focused on user groups and mm. speakers. Um, so people, I've had people like Corey Haynes, I interviewed him, and he said that he actually, and I forgot to say this during the pre-interview, but it just occurred to me, is that he said um, 
that he studied the way you present and the way you engage an audience. Um, is that something that has always been in your personality, or is that something that over... No, you know, I was born with that, yeah. um, and I'm not exactly sure why, um, mm -hmm. but from you know age five, mm -hmm. uh, I've never been afraid of audiences. I like to engage them. I do better with audiences than I do with individuals, right. which is probably one of my pathologies. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just something that I have this innate love of yeah. getting on stage and entertaining a big wad of people. Yeah, yeah, and, and it, that's when you say entertaining. When I interviewed Brian Lyles, he was talking about when you get up, you only have a certain amount of time. Yep. And you have to figure out a way to get a message through to the people in the audience who might have been there for several hours and they're tired and they're kind of checking out a little bit, but get, waking them up. Getting them, and maybe you get one or two points across that leads them to go off and, and do a little bit more research. Has that been kind of similar to what your method is? You want to introduce a few concepts? There's, there's a few major points that you want to make, and you want to make it in a way that, that keeps everybody engaged and everyone in, uh, watching and interested and absorbed. Um, there's a song, uh, I can't remember the artist right now, but the, one of the words in the song is uh, out there, uh, up there on the stage, um, every ounce of energy you try to give away. Is that the is that ABBA song, I think? It's not ABBA. No, no, no. no. It's um, I, I know Bob we'll, Seger. We'll, we'll, I'll do that in the after yeah. notes. I'll find it's, that one. It's a Seger song. Okay. And, and, and there's a lot of accuracy in that. On stage, mm -hmm. it's all about energy and you try to put as much energy out as you can uh, to engage the audience and, and deliver the message that you're trying to deliver. Mm -hmm. And uh, you alluded to about uh, it's sometimes easier to talk to an audience than it is sometimes to talk to an individual. I'll admit that one of the things that also drove me to do this is that I had trouble engaging people directly, but by mm -hmm. creating a, a format of a it was easier for me to approach somebody and say, yes. yeah. these are the things I want to talk about and, and learn more about, but by not just doing it for myself, I'm able to share with other people, it becomes not so greedy. <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, but it was an issue, you're not the first person to describe that putting on a persona for an audience, sometimes as software developers, we we tend to more turn to the inside mm -hmm. of our head and then we come to these conferences and speak or, and, and share, and we have to kind of put on a mask, so to speak. Yeah, I suppose there's a, a mask or, or something there. Um, it's a safe format. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can get up on stage and I know exactly what to do. I know I can engage the crowd. I understand. They're all there to listen to me. It's a, mm -hmm. a safe format. It's a lot like being a bartender. Yeah, you know, bartender is a very safe relationship to have with someone because they're going to love you. Yeah, especially if you fill their bill beer up a little the very bit. Yeah. Top. Just yeah. make sure that beer is going to hand it. Yeah. they're going to love you. Yeah, same same thing with being on stage. You just make sure you fill that vessel up. Well, thank you very much for taking the time. You're to sit welcome. Down. Appreciate it. <laughs>